Hey guys, Tony Smith at the Can Yacht Festival. Behind me, you're gonna see the Sunreef 80 Power, the Kokomo. I'm gonna hop on board and show you this boat. Let me know your thoughts. Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachty, and today we're here on board the 80-foot Sunreef Power, the Kokomo. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, give you guys a quick look at this boat. Okay, so this boat is actually an award-winning boat, and what you'll notice, it has just some beautiful styling. We're gonna head into the main salon in a moment. I wanna point out this awesome teak table here. We've got a sun pad in the back, and underneath that is the garage. So this is your jet ski garage and you see you got plenty of storage on both sides for scuba equipment and other items. Molded in storage uh, beneath all the seating. And then this is the uh, galley up design here. So you'll see center line, you've got a retracting TV. And opposite that, here is our galley up. So just a really nice warm feeling boat uh, that's uh, super nicely put together. And with the galley up, this really works well for families. Over on the left here, you'll see I've got an L-shaped settee. Great visibility out all of the windows. And then hidden uh, cold storage uh, back here. So in the main part of our salon, you'll see I've got a uh, starboard side couch there. Lovely coffee table and some interesting little seats there. This boat won a uh, design award because it is so unique. Um, you have your lower helm here, starboard forward, and this has all your ship control systems on it as well. Okay, you have your primary engine controls there, as well as you've got a uh, joystick. This does have uh, two bow thrusters and steering wheel here. Ship's electronic systems are easily accessible. We're gonna head down starboard forward. So starboard forward, you see we've got some really elegant vertical windows here and a nice cabin set up. Inside here, we've got the shower set up with uh, bench seating and you've got a toilet here as well. And this is a nice rain shower on it. So I'm gonna move aft, so midship, We've got a larger owner's suite here midship on the starboard side. Really elegant and warm feeling. Some of these are super modern and more of a dark color, but this design here is really great. So storage all the way along, large window here that opens up for plenty of ventilation. And then you've got uh, seating on the forward bulkhead there. Big king size bed got closets. Now the owner lives on this boat and was kind enough to put it in the can festival. So we're not going to look at all the closets, but here is our uh, bathroom. So you'll see a uh, toilet here, inboard, nice sink basin, really beautiful colors here and the finish. And then a nice big shower here with the rain, infinity rain shower. So this is midship, starboard, and then we're gonna head back up and take a look at the other cabins. So port side forward will be our next cabin to take a look at. So heading down here, we've got two additional cabins. So here, larger than the queen size bed, really elegant backboard there the three vertical windows signature. And then this is a nice little desk set up. The owner actually is living on board her for a year. And while he's cruising, he uh, is tutoring his kids on board, which is really neat to have an adventure like that. So up above, we've got another rain shower and a nice sink basin and storage there. So very functional boat. I've got a full walk-in closet here. And then I'm going to go starboard forward. Again, another really nice cabin set up here. OK, 
Okay, inboard sink, and again, a matching shower and head area. So super nice. All right, moving up into the main salon. We are next going to go to our forward deck. So forward of this, we've got the nice watertight door. That door is locked and controlled electronically here. And then what you'll see is I've got a really nice upper lounge here. So I've got matching L-shaped seating on both sides with a nice teak table. Look across this uh, windows here, starboard side, matching L-shape. And then we've got um, some chase lounges that recline here. Uh, down in the uh, four peaks, I believe we have additional storage or finished crew. Since they are living on this boat, I don't want to open that up, but you can choose either option, either crew cabins or storage up in your four peak. And then again, these uh, actuate so you can lean those back and just have a big sun pad if you want. And obviously we're here at the Can Yacht Festival, so always a little bit of a party. Okay, panning back across. Okay, walking along here. Okay, back here is the sugar scoop hydraulic platform. We'll move up to the flybridge here. Yeah, you have to get when you're So up in the flybridge, this is awesome. Okay. L-shaped seating, matching opposing on both sides. Really nice elegant dining table here for outdoor dining in teak. And then a sun pad across the back and look that pops up also. We got our access to our life rafts there. On the port side, we have our wet bar here with a nice significant size grill. Beautiful. And then we've got uh, some cold storage down below. Additional storage here. And then we've got a uh, refuse container. And then this would be a pop-up sink here to the front. And then an ice maker down below. So really nice use of space. This one has a super elegant design here across the top. And so uh, this is a louvered design. So it lets the uh, sunlight in, but then it can uh, transform and uh, waterproof this whole area. Super cool. And then here's our upper helm. You see we've got uh, the man uh, engine displays there. We've got uh, access to a uh, bow thruster control, the man engine controls, your VHF, obviously your multifunction chart platter, your autopilot, your remote spotlight, and your FLIR night vision system. Okay. So forward, we've got seating for three across the center line and then three on either the starboard side or the port side. And really a nice open space here. Very elegant, award-winning design. We're gonna head back downstairs. And then port side aft. We'll walk down here. And we've got crew quarters down here. Two single berths. And then we've got the uh, restroom and shower. Since people are living on board, we're gonna not disturb that area. And then here, we've got a uh, really nice day head on your aft cockpit dock. So that's awesome. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna do one more quick walk around the side of the boat. Again, this hydraulic platform is used for your dinghy, but that can be put level and flush across the way. One feature that I wanna point out on the side, both port and starboard, you do have these nice gates that open up here so you can easily board, as well as this does have this nice cutout here for the infinity view off to the side. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, and thanks for checking out the Kokomo, the Sunreef 80. If you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out at the information below.